Shabbat Shalom. Good evening to all. Welcome. Beth Shalom Temple Center here in Green Valley. To those who are with us here in the sanctuary, those who are joining us from your own home, a mikdash me'at, may it be a small sanctuary for you as well. Our worship will be following along in uh, in the prayer book of Mishkan Tefillah. If, uh, we'll announce all the all the pages again for those here in the sanctuary, as well as if you have a prayer book and follow along at home. Um, we, we have a, a a little bit of new technology that we're uh, experimenting with this evening, so bear with us. Uh, be patient, and hopefully all will all will work well. We actually begin on page eight, on page eight of the prayer book of the Siddur, especially after this week. We begin with a prayer of gratitude. Let us find all that is holy in our lives. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics, no services, but we need them. Through prayers, we can sense our inner strength, our inner purpose, our inner joy, our capacity to love. Tonight, on this Shabbat, as we reach upward in prayer, we sense those qualities in our Creator, for to love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world that God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy, those that illuminate all of us, and we pray to bring that vision into life. The traditional opening prayer on Shabbat is Lecha Dodi. We welcome the Shabbat as a bride, as a queen, as a loved one, a time of peace, a time of friendship, a time of beauty, and humanity, lechadodi likrat kala panei Shabbat nekabla. Come, dear friends, we greet each other tonight. We greet the bride. We greet the Shabbat. The musical uh, YouTube that we're providing for you here includes the lyrics in the presentation. Those of you who are in the sanctuary, and if the video is not working over here then you'll find the words on pages 20 and 21. Piano, actually, to give me a little bit of um, an intro to get in. Um, so you should be able to hear that hopefully on there. If not, you'll hear me when I come in. Here's the intro. Shamor mezach or bedi burecha tishmi anu ela meyucha darunai echad shmo echad neshemu tiferet meliti la lechadodi likrat kala vene shabbat nekavela. Lechadodi likrat kala v'nei Shabbat nekabela likrat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha ki himekor ha'al beracha merosh mikedem nesucha sof ma'ase v'machshava techila. Lechadodi likrat kala Bene Shabbat nekabela Lechadodi likrat kala Bene Shabbat nekabela Hitoreri, hitoreri Kiva hore kumi ori uri uri Shi'ir da beri kevod Adonai 
עלייך נגלה, לך הדודי לקראת כלה, ונשמה את מקבלה, לך הדודי לקראת כלה, ונשמה את מקבלה. בואי ושלום את ארץ פעלה גם בשמחה ובצולתו חמונה עם סגולה בואי חלה בואי חלה We continue with our ritual to light and bless the Shabbat candles, pages two and three in the prayer book. Merdell, if you would join us, please. sanctify the wine for Shabbat, Kiddush on page 5. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzavanu, v'shabbat kotsho, Ve'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu Zikaron lemahase v'reishi Ki hu yom t'chila lemikrae kodesh Zecher l'tzihiyahat mihitzrayim Ki vanu v'acharta V'yotanu ki dashta Mikol hamim Veshabbat kodshicha Veahava uvratzon Hinchaltanu Baruch atah Adonai Mekadesh Hashabbat Amen Chaim? It has indeed been a challenging week. It has indeed been a challenging month, several months. And I spent the last few days, not a, when I wasn't watching the news on television, uh, looking at some of the things that colleagues of mine have written, acknowledging uh, some of the challenges, some of the themes, some of the anniversaries, 
some of the memorials which have compounded all of the Jewish themes that came together during this past week. Uh, I'll share with them, share them with you during the course of our worship this evening. Uh, first, this is an opening prayer, an interpretation of Psalm 145. Some of you know the Hebrew as Ashve Yoshve Vetecha, happy are those who dwell in your house. This is an interpretation uh, called Happy Are Those Who Dwell in Your House, uh, Ashrei Yoshve Vetecha, uh, by Bini Talmi, who is a member of the progressive congregation Nigun Halev in the uh, Jezreel Valley of Israel. And he writes the following. Exiled from joy through no fault of their own, imprisoned, confined, banished from work. The unemployed, anxious about their source of income, fathers and mothers at home with their children, whose every wish for food must be met at home. They yearn for members of their families, none of whom can come to their home to be with them. Their only comfort is through the wonders of a computer screen robbed of community, yet they offer a heartfelt prayer for healing and blessing. Shema Yisrael, hero Israel, and bless those who are weary on their watch. The medical and security teams straining beneath the yoke of their duties. Give us hope that this grim time will pass and that the institutions of our state will return to sanity. May borders of hope separating people from people within their land be opened. May peace among nations be sought. May instruments of war disappear. May their comfort be found in the bond between person and person, between person and world. And may a new friendship grow in the world recovering from the death of so many. When the red bud tree yields only good in abundance, for the song of simplicity and humanity has not yet reached its end, at that time, people will rise from their beds and beat a path to the future. The old will walk supported in the streets, the young will return to their celebrations and their songs, and their goodness will shine through. God of the lonely and the isolated in our time, hear our prayer. Page 24. Shalom Aleichem, Malache Hashare, Malache Elion, Mihi Melech, Malache Hamlachi, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Kochem Shalom, Malache Hashalom, Malache Elion. Mihi melech malache hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. Alchuni leshalom malache hashalom malache yelion. Mihi melech malache hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. Hem le shalom, malache ha shalom, malache yehion. Mihi melech, 
malaché hamlachim, hakaharosh baharuchu. Page 26. Yitkadal ve Yitkadash Shemei Rabba. Yalmadi brachidu te vi amlich malchute. Bechaye chon uviyom e chon. Uvchaye chol beit Yisrael. Bahagala, bahagala. Uvizman kariv. Vimeru. Amen. Yehesh me rabba me barach, leala mulol me al maya, yit barach, yit barach, ve yish tabach, yit bar, yit ramam, ve yit nase, ve yit adar, ve yit ale, ve yit alal, shmeil kudsha perichu, leila min kalbir chata ve shihirata, Tush bechata venechemata, dahamiran bihalma, vimeru. Amen. Please rise. Those who are comfortable, we ask you to rise. La 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 la, la 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 la. La 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 Adonai ha-mevorach Le'olam, le'olam va'ed Praise be the one to whom our praise is due Praise be the one to whom our praise is due Praise be Adonai to whom our praise is due Now and forever La 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 The English translation of the Ma'ariv prayer, page 30. Please join with me. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzvaot is your name, ever-living God. May you reign continually over us unto eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamaariv Aravi. Beit Yisrael, Amchavta, Amchavta, Torah u mitzvot, Chukim u mishpatim, Otanu limadita, Otanu limadita. Al kin Adonai Eloheinu b'shoch beinu Uvkumeinu nasiach b'chukecha V'nismach v'divrei Toratecha Uv'mitzvotecha le'olam v'ayel Ki heim chayeinu V'yorech yameinu Uvahem nege yomam valayla 
Nege yomam valayla Ve'ahavatcha al tasir Mimenu le'olamim Baruch atadonai Ohev amo Yisrael Ohev amo Yisrael Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Kevod Mahalchuto Leolam Vahel. Let's be seated. Continuing via Hafta, the words of Deuteronomy on page 36, and we'll chant together. Via Hafta, et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Vavcha, Uvechol Navshecha. Uvechol meodecha vehayu advarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom alvavecha v'shinanta ham levanecha v'dibarta baham v'shivdecha v'veitecha uvlechdecha v'aderech. Uvshach becha, uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayule totafot, bein enecha, uktavtam, amzuzot beitecha, uvihish arecha, leman tiskeru, vasitem et kol mitzlotai. Vitem lochim leloechem, Ahani Adonai Eloechem, Asher hotseti etchem, Meeret mitzrayim, Lehiot lachem lelohim, Ani Adonai Eloechem, Amen. Page 39. At the top of the page, standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, and that there is no way to get from here to there, especially in trying times except by joining hands and marching together. Mi kamocha ba'eli madonai, mi kamocha nedar ba'kodesh. No rate hilot o sefele, no rate hilot o sefele. Malechutecha, rahu vadnecha, bokea yam, livne moshe umiriam, zeheli anu veameru, Adonai imloch, Adonai imloch, leolam evahel. Venemar. Ki fadarunai et Yaakov, ugoalo miat chazak mimenu, baruch atadonai, gal Yisrael. The top of page 43, we pray together, let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapores Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, 
v'al kol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. V'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat l'asod et ha-shabbat l'dorot amrit olam v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat l'asod et ha-shabbat l'dorot amrit olam Beini uvein b'nei Yisrael Oti le'olam, oti le'olam, v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat, l'asot et ha-shabbat l'dorotam b'rit olam. Ki sheshet yamim asaronai, Asaronai et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat l'asot et ha-shabbat l'dorot ha-berit olam U'vayom ha-shvi'i Shabbat v'ayin ha-fash Shabbat v'ayin ha-fash Shabbat v'ayin ha-fash V'shamru v'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat L'asod et ha-shabbat L'dorot ham v'rit olam We are a people in whom the past endures in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened to us once upon a time happens to us all the time. We continue with our tefillah, the central part of our worship service, Amidah, Shemona Esrei. Those who are most comfortable, we invite you to please rise. The Ark will be open. We'll join in chanting together the first several pages. We'll then continue silently until page 60. So we'll chant together the first several pages, and then I will invite you to continue silently through page 60. We begin on page 46. Adonai, sifatai tikpach, ufia gite hilateha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avutenu vimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Hael Hagadol, Agibor Vehanora, El El Yom, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakod, Vezocher Chaste Avot Vimahot, O maybe Gula Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Vehava, Melech Ozer Moshia Umage. Baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham, Vezrat Sarah. Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Atah Rav Lehoshia. Mashiv HaRuach, Umorid HaGashem. Mechalkel Chaim Bechesel, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim. Sohomech noflim verofei cholim, umatihir asurim, um kahayehem emunato, lishenei ahafar, michamocha ba'al giburot, umidoh melech, melech memihit umechahayeh, umatmiach yeshua. 
Bene Emma Hanatala Hayo Hotako, Rukata Runa, Mechaye Ako, page fifty two, Atakadosh, Vishim Hakadosh, Ukdoshim of Nolium Yalaluka, Sela, Rukata Runa, Hail Akado. Continuing through page 60. as well as the music.
of the Night of Broken Glass, November 9, 10, 1938. In Germany especially, but also in some communities in Austria, November 9, Kristallnacht 10, 1938. stood as for in Germany, what some people refer to as the end of the beginning, the events that led up to the Holocaust, World War II, the end of the beginning period by which Adolf Hitler and the Nazis had established their power over the Third Reich. The end of the beginning and the others beginning mark it as the beginning of the Hitler end, and the Nazis that it was the first horrible act over that would mark the tragedy, the catastrophe of what in Hebrew we call the Shoah, the Holocaust, resulting in more than 6 million Jewish deaths and 11 million deaths around the world. Last year, at the Kristallnacht uh, commemoration in Queens at St. John's University, uh, a Catholic priest, Patrick J. Griffin, uh, with whom I had gone to undergraduate school. Some of you know I went to a Jesuit undergraduate school, and Pat was one of my co-students. Uh, he was invited to speak at the Queen's Community Commemoration for Kristallnacht. He now teaches uh, theology at St. John's University, and this is what he said. Great God, from the very beginning of our human story, we are reminded of how we can do violence to our brothers and sisters. Cain kills his brother Abel, and the blood of Abel cries out to you, O God, for remembrance and action. And you do act, and we do remember. What was the reason of Cain? What allowed him to attack his only brother with whom he lived and spoke? How could this have happened? Yet it did happen, and it continued to happen and it happens in our own day. We gather here today to remember a time when hatred drove brother and sister against sister and brother. The damage of homes, businesses, and sacred places was as nothing compared to the taking of human life and human dignity. And this action marked a step toward greater and more horrible sibling destruction. We remember, Lord, and in remembering we face a frightful truth about ourselves. There's another truth. For before the murder, Cain is warned that sin lies in wait at the door, its urge is for you, yet you can rule over it. We recognize the possibility of violence in ourselves but we can, we must also be men and women who choose peace and fraternal love. We are promised your help, O God, to rule over the darkness which seeks to reign within us. And so today, O merciful God, we remember our brothers and sisters who have died because of sibling human hatred. We ask that you bring these innocents to yourself eternally. Welcome them at your table eternally. We ask that you enable us to learn the terrible lessons of our past and allow them to teach us a path of peaceful coexistence, brothers and sisters, for the future. We make this prayer as your beloved children, all of us, and we say, Amen. Pat Griffin's father, Patrick Griffin's prayer, acknowledging the horror of Kristallnacht. This week also marks, believe it or not, the 25th anniversary 
of the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin, uh, Prime Minister of the State of Israel. And another colleague of mine, this time one whom I was privileged to have taught, Rabbi Yehoram Mazor of Israel, one of the progressive rabbis there, wrote this Yizkor prayer upon the death of Yitzchak Rabin. El mole rachamim, may God remember the soul of Yitzchak, the son of Rosa and Nehemiah, a leader and a general, a statesman and a dreamer who made dreams come true, who was taken by the bullets of an assassin from among our own people. May we remember the camaraderie that typified his character, the image of soldier and commander, the prince of the armies of Israel. And may we also remember a warrior who longed for the day when he would be able to beat his sword into a plowshare, to sit under his vine and fig tree without fear, to enjoy the fruits of national revival and peace. May we remember the leader and statesman who devoted his life to the Jewish people and its state, who was murdered while in their service. So may the people of Israel always remember Rosh HaMem Shalah, Prime Minister of Israel, General Yitzchak Rabin, Zichrono Livracha, may his memory be a blessing. May it guard the memory of his assassination and may Israel find the wisdom to mourn for interrupted vision and action for peace. May the memory of this man serve as an emblem and a model and may his death be a lesson for generations to come. And then one final prayer a prayer that I just came across truly yesterday. This is entitled A Prayer for Now. And it was written by two women rabbis, reform rabbis, in Brooklyn. Rabbi Stephanie Cullen, Rabbi Rachel Timoner. And they write specifically after the events of Tuesday, November 3rd. God of the fearful and the anxious, God who accompanies our ancestors Abraham and Sarah on their journeys through the unknown, God who amplifies the voices of the poor and the oppressed through our prophets, God who values every human life with loving kindness, inspire us today to make our voices heard. Give the people of this land the courage and the safety as they cast their ballots in peace. Protect all the volunteers, the poll watchers, the poll workers and the voters. Guard our streets from violence. Guard each human life, each reflection of your image as the process of our democracy unfolds spread a shelter of peace over this, our country. May we have a clear and peaceful outcome after our election. And dear God, heal our wounds, heal the divisions in our land so that we can see one another afresh and anew, so that we can begin the work of building our future together. And we say, Amen. So friends, I wanted to share those words, those prayers, those teachings, those hopes, and invite you to join with me in a song, a prayer, a teaching, and a hope for peace, for us, for all Israel and all humankind. If you need the words to Oseh Shalom, page 343, near the bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. 
Ose shalom bim roma. Oya se shalom aleinu. Ve'akol Yisrael ve'imru. Imru amen. Ya se shalom. Ya se shalom. Shalom aleinu. Ve'al kol Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al kol Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al kol Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom. Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Yahase Shalom, Yahase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael. Continue with Alenu, the bottom of page 282. The bottom of page 282. Again, the ark will be open. Those who are comfortable, I invite you to please rise as we join together. Alenu the Shadayakulagohonako. La teknu la leot seher breishit, shelo asanu kegoye haratzot, velo ho samanu kemishpachot ha'adama, shelo sam chelkeinu kahem, vigoho raleinu kechol amonam, vanachnu korim, umishtachadim umodim, litne melech, Malche Hamlachi Hakadosh Baruchu 284. Shehu no Teshamayim Yose Kaharet. O Moshav Yekaro Mashamayim Imam. Ushkina Tuzo, Ushkina Tuzo, the Gohen Merohomi. O Eloheinu Eno. Emet malkeinu ebezulato, kakahatu betorato, viadata hayom, viadata hayom, the hashevota elevavecha, ki adonai hu ha elohim, basha hamayi vimam, the alha haaretz, the alha haaretz, mihitahachat. Two eighty seven, the Nehema, the Haya Adonai, the Melechal Koharetz, Bayom Hau, Bayom Hau, Yige Adonai Echa, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo Echa. This memorial prayer before Kaddish in recognition of Kristallnacht, our memories of the tragedy of the Shoah, page 292. 292. We have lived in numberless towns and villages, and in too many of them we have endured cruel suffering. Some we have forgotten, others are sealed in our memory as wounds that do not heal. A hundred generation of victims and martyrs, still their blood cries out from the earth, so many, so many, 
at Dachau, at Buchenwald, at Babi Yar. What can we say? What can we do? How bear the unbearable or accept what life has brought to our people? All who are born must die, but how shall we compare the slow passage of time with the callous slaughter of the innocent cut off before theirs? They lived with faith, not all but many, and surely many died with faith in God, in life, in the goodness that even flames cannot destroy. May we find a way to the strength of that faith, that trust, that sure sense, that life and soul endure beyond this body's death. They have left their lives to us. Let a million prayers rise whenever Jews worship. Let a million candles glow against the darkness of their unfinished lives. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, they died al Kiddush Hashem, innocent victims of senseless acts of hatred and terrorism and racism around the world, those who have given their lives in the, forces of the, serv in the service of forces of decency and democracy around the world, innocent victims of natural disasters, those of every race and nation, their lives have truly been a blessing to humanity. We remember them. We meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. As we think of our loved ones, those who have been so recently taken from our midst, especially in this past month and this past year, as a community and congregation of friends, we honor the memories of Werner Lawson, Isaac Richard Mayo, Jessica Bakke, Ralph Block, Sarah Deitch, Terry Freed, Jeannie Gordon, Michelle Kohana, Janelle Mitchell, Jim Mardinley, Faye Starr, Bud Stein, Stephen Weig, Yetta Weston, Alan Winfield, and Loretta Ziegelman. We remember, we remember and honor those who died at this season in years past. We draw them into our hearts with our own, especially in this, the week of the anniversary of their passing, their yurt site. We remember David Friedman, Morris Gordon, George Graham, Barnard Jeff Jaffe, Eugene Rosenfeld, and Dr. Theodore Walden, Ted Walden. Are there other names anyone wishes to add to our list this evening? Zichr, yes? Zichronam Livracha. May their memories truly be for a blessing. May they live in the peace and bliss which is life eternal. Memorial Kaddish, Kaddish Yatom is on page 294. Our tradition is to rise in company with those who mourn and recite words hallowed by centuries of faith together. Yit Gadal v'yit Gadash Shmei Rabbah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayechol v'yit Yisrael v'agalav v'zman kari v'imru amen Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach Leolam Ulol Meol Maya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Paar Vit Mam Vit Nase Vit Adar Vit Ale Vit Alal Shmeid Kutsha Barichu La Elamin Kol Birchata Vishirata Tushbechata Venechamata Da Amiran Vialma Vimru Amen Yehe Shlomo Rabba Min Shamaya Vachayim Aleinu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen O Se Shalom Vim Ramav Huya Se Shalom Aleinu Vial Kol Yisrael Vial Kol Bnei Adam Vimru Amen May the one who creates harmony on high bring comfort to those amongst us who are in mourning and may God in answer to our prayers bring peace to us to all Israel and to all humanity, to which we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. 
with thanks to Ruth Ann. Not, don't, not, we're not yet ready yet. Just I have to introduce that and announcements and, and whatever. Um, and to all of you who participated and joined us for Shabbat worship this evening. Uh, a, a few announcements. Uh, tomorrow morning we have Torah study at 10 o'clock. Uh, then, um, thanks to uh, Gary Melton and the Men's Club, there will be many, many bagels picked up on Sunday. Well, it's too late to order, right? But pickup is from uh, 9, to 11. 9 to 11, here right outside the front, the front door. If you have ordered the, the, the bagels, it's a nice... Uh, a nice project, not only for the sake of tasting the bagels and eating them, but also to assist our, our friends and families uh, whose homes and temple were affected uh, in the fires up in uh, Oregon recently. Um, uh, please note also there's a men's club meeting, Zoom meeting next Wednesday morning. Uh, I have a Tellers of Tales class uh, Zoom class that will begin on on Tuesday. Uh, the more information and the Thursday. links will be available. Oh, I'm sorry, Thursday. Thursday. Right. I wrote down. I better not do it on Tuesday. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, right. Uh, Tuesday, the, is a sisterhood meeting. Tuesday is a sisterhood meeting. I wasn't invited, so that's why I didn't have it written down. Okay. The uh, uh, so sisterhood meeting. Do we know time? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Sisterhood on Tuesday. It's also Zoom. Also on Zoom, and then the Zoom class that I'll be with uh, is on Thursday also at, at 2 o'clock. Um, Michael Gervan is offering to uh, provide some Sunday afternoons, uh, uh, an hour of music at his home for those who uh, have never heard his music or are anxious to rehear some of his music. Please uh, let him know if you'd like to uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Are there other... Uh, other announcements that anyone might have. Okay, um, this is a special version. We, you know, for several months leading up to uh, the High Holy Days, and, and even at the High Holy Days, and now we'll continue the tradition. Um, we started looking at different YouTubes and different interpretations of the traditional Adon Olam, the hymn Adon Olam. Um, the God of all. Uh, and, then I, and I found this one that I wanted to share with you. It's actually a choir, an Israeli choir, of elementary school children who are either themselves refugees or their parents were refugees and made the trek from Ethiopia to Israel. They all live at at a village that Lynn and I have visited many times. Indeed, I was invited to teach there, a youth village known as Yemin Ord. It's on the Mediterranean coast south of, south of Haifa. Uh, they do a special work for immigrant children who are acclimating to Israeli society. There's an Israeli musician by the name of Sh uh, Shlomo Gronich, uh, who is, has been fascinated by the musical interpretations of the African, the Ethiopian, the, the Sephardic, the Oriental, the Turkish, all of those influences of Jewish music. And he taught this choir of Ethiopian kids a relatively new interpretation of Adon Olam to go along with the more traditional version that you might hear near the end. So I don't think they actually show in the YouTube, I don't think that they show the kids, but if you can imagine, you'll hear their, you'll hear their voices, you'll hear the, the excitement in their voices, if you can imagine 25 fifth, sixth graders having just learned Hebrew, just learned more about their Jewish identities and joining in praise to God with Adon Olam. Having just learned Hebrew, just learned more about their Jewish identities, and joining in praise to God with Adon Olam.
No. <laughs> Okay. okay, commercial, but it's all right. We'll sing this. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. Good to see you. Take care. Be well. Well, no, I, I mean, I, I know of the recording. I, I, I have the recording.